hate it. <laughs> Yo, what's going on? Today I'm gonna show you how you can get a trippy echo text effect for your music videos. Now I was inspired by the original text animation for this music video and I'll link that in the bio, but I decided to make it my own a little bit. And if you think this is cool, I'm gonna show you the workflow that I use to produce this effect. So without wasting too much time, I'm just gonna come over here to the sequence folder and create a new composition. Now I'm just using the default settings, but you can obviously make this whatever you want. So I'm going to select the text tool and type in my text. And then I'm going to come over here and align everything a little bit. I'm just using this lime green stroke without a fill. You can obviously play around with your text and have it be whatever you want. Now the next step is going to be making this a 3D layer by selecting this. And then with your text selected, hit P on your keyboard and create a position keyframe. I'm going to drag mine to about 20 frames or so. And then I'm going to move it so move it a little back in 3D space. Something like this looks pretty good to me. And then we're going to go over to the effects rack and type in echo. Then we're going to apply echo to our layer. And we're going to adjust it so the number of copies is something like 40. Uh, set the decay to 0.95. And then the echo operator to screen. And we're going to end up having something like this. So this is already starting to look pretty cool. Keep in mind that my resolution is set to half right now because some of these effects can be a little intense on your computer. But I think this is pretty cool. So now the next step is going to be coming over here and selecting Colorama. And then in the input phase, you are going to make a keyframe at the start of your animation or the phase shift. And then around 20 frames, make it some, make it whatever you want. I'm gonna make it so mine's kind of this like pinkish purple. I think that looks pretty good. And before we get too far, I'm actually going to select my position keyframes and easy ease them, and then come over here to the graph editor and just adjust the influence a little bit, just make it a little bit more dynamic. This is already looking pretty fun. I think I am going to play with these a little bit. I'm gonna move this to about a second. Cool, now this is already looking really fun. So I'm gonna come over here and type in turbulent displace and drag that on top of our layer. And then around a second and a half, I'm going to set a keyframe for the amount. And then at zero seconds, I'm going to set that to zero. And that will give us something like this. Now I think that this is pretty fun. Now if you had an intro text animation, you might want to have this fade off so that you can have more text pop on. So if that's the case, you can just hit T on your keyboard and that will bring up the opacity properties. And then you can just kind of set a keyframe at 100, go a few frames, set it to zero so it fades off. Then you'll have something like this. And then if you did have more text, you could actually duplicate this layer. And then when your first text animation ends, you could have the second one come on. And you could just go over here and change your text to whatever you want. But this would be good just if you're making a little intro title and you want to have multiple things kind of popping up on the screen. And then if you want to customize them a little bit, you can sort of play around with the colorama effect to have it be a little different color. Uh, and just sort of play around with it so that each little text animation is its own thing. But yeah, this is pretty much all you need to do. And if you just want to drop in some footage, uh, just so you can see sort of how it looks, then we have something like this. So if you found this at all helpful, feel free to like and subscribe to my channel because it helps me out a ton. I really appreciate all the love you guys have been showing me and I'm gonna keep on trying to pump out some tutorials. So let me know if you like this or if you have any recommendations for videos you would like to see. All right, until next time guys.